Hey guys, this is Eric from ttjcrew.com. Just wanted to give you a basic overview of how to do um, chroma keying or green screening in the new Final Cut Pro 10. So I've, I've seen a few tutorials out on uh, YouTube of how to do um, green screening with uh, Final Cut Pro 10, but nothing that really shows how to, how to tweak the settings. Like let's say you drag the chroma keying effect onto your clip and it doesn't get all of um, all of the background out of there. So I haven't really seen anything like that. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do this really quick. So I've got a clip here of uh, you know me just uh, talking about robots and you know things of that nature. Drag that in here. And first thing we want to do to do Keen is uh, go into the effects browser. And we're going to go into Keen right here. So you've got your keyer, and this is how we're going to do green screening. So we just go ahead and drag this guy on top of your clip. And there you go, you can see those brights up here didn't really come out all that well, and the shadows I had back here didn't come out all that well either. So we actually need to go in and uh, tweak this a little bit now. So here's the key, you gotta click this little eye right back here. And you can click on your clip. And uh, you'll see you actually have a, a video section, audio section, and info for this clip. So I can view you know, information on this clip that I imported, any audio effects I've applied, and then this is my video um, effects stack. So you can see this, this first thing in the stack is applied first, then it applies the next, then the next. So it's like a chain of effects that it actually applies, and you can turn these effects on and off with this little you know, blue light up here. So I'm gonna jump back into original view by clicking on this box. So now I got a pretty good view of what the original clip looked like. And the key here to actually selecting all of the colors in the spectrum that you want to key out so that you get that really nice clean crisp um, clip. So you click the sample color box. So now you can go ahead and drag this across you know a, a large portion of your green screen as much as you can. And then the real crucial part here is if you hold down shift can actually draw more, which I didn't realize at first, and it's actually extremely helpful because now I can select you know these brighter colors up here that I didn't select with my other boxes, and now I can also come down here and select my darker shades or my shadows. So we're basically just trying to cover every color of the spectrum, and you just don't want to hit anything that you know, like your subject or anything else you're trying to keep in your frame. So you know, I'll, I'll just drag out some boxes. You know, that should be pretty good, basically just trying to cover all those all those uh, color spectrums. So, release on shift, and now I've got all those boxes. I'm actually just going to click back here on my uh, composite view. And right there, bam, you can see, wow, that green screen came out way better now that we actually told it, well, why don't you get these brights and uh, these darkers with these boxes. Now you can see I also, um, I didn't frame this perfectly, my green screen didn't go up all the way in this shot. So another cool thing you can do is uh, this crop right here. This will actually give you a visual overview of how much your frame is cropped. And you can e either drag it by these little blue handles or uh, my, my personal favorite is just to go in here for your, uh, your effect stack into cropping. That way you can actually uh, manipulate it exactly how much you want. That looks pretty good for that. And I didn't move around a whole lot in this clip so I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop off a little bit of my left side and uh, my right side as well. So now I've got a really clean green screen. You know, it, it came out way better. And you saw how much shadow, you know, if I, if I bring back in the original clip, you can see just how much shadow I had back here and just how bright it was. So you can really clean up your green screen clips a whole lot um, just by using this method, which I like a lot better over the uh, Final Cut Pro 7 way of doing it. So uh, another thing now is to actually bring in the background you want to use. So go ahead and click Done on this cropping tool. And you've got this generators view right here. You can either use an image or, you know, I'll just use these generators just because they're built in nice and handy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this industrial view. You know, it's kind of a professional looking background, so that's pretty cool. We'll uh, go ahead and just drag that clip in here. There we go. And, you know, drag this to the end of my clip. And uh, I'm going to click off of my generators window, and that way I can see more of the timeline and uh, drag that out to there. And now you can actually see, you know, we got a really solid green screen. You might see a little bit of artifacting like that. You know, my green screen didn't come all the way down, unfortunately. I should have uh, definitely framed this clip a little bit better. But uh, you can you can go ahead and chop your clip up, you know, with the blade tool. Let's say right here. 
And now just for this clip, you know, when I, when there's actually some, some garbage showing up there, as long as I wasn't moving around a whole lot, now I can actually go back into just this clip and tweak my cropping a little bit more. So click on there to view how much is being cropped, and there we go. Let's crop that out. So now I've got a, a pretty solid um, green screening footage. You know, might need to clean up a little bit more of this stuff, but that that's basically how you get rid of um, any of that other garbage you might have in your green screen clip, just because uh, you had you know brighter sections or darker sections. So this this uh, this is the way to do it. You know, and uh, you know, thanks for watching. And uh, once again, I'm Eric from TTJCrew.com. Thanks for watching.